we're celebrating Marvel's 80th anniversary and all the characters and stuff, but Marvel has sometimes kind of predicted the future. Oh, yeah, no, you're onto something, Langston. Uh, just look at some of the incredible technology and gadgets that we use today in real life. A lot of them popped up in comics way before they ever existed. IRLZs. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, like uh, Spider Woman, right? Jessica Drew. Uh, her web wings on her uh, suit predate the first commercial uh, wingsuit used by skydivers all over the world. Yeah, jumping off of cliffs. Whew. In buildings. Yeah, that's, I would not do it, but <laughs> yeah. good for Jessica Drew and all those folks. Nice. Uh, how about the X Mansion? You know, the X Mansion had the Danger Room, which was essentially this voice that you could talk to and have it do stuff for you, mm -hmm. like home automation. Yeah, but uh, also uh, not as many buzz saws. Oh yeah, no, that's true. Less, less actual danger. <laughs> Um, oh, or how about this? Video calling. In comic books, people are constantly talking to each other on screens, but now we do it too. Nice, and uh, speaking of those superheroes, their costumes, superhero costumes. Fabric is so advanced now, it can do all kinds of things from sweat wicking to protecting your body, mm -hmm. just like superhero costumes. Yeah, because you gotta, you know, look good and feel good and be protected while you're fighting bad necks. Yeah. What about the Kamoyo beads from Wakanda? Uh, they are kind of like smartwatch, but they can predict your health. They can tell you how your body's doing. They remember your whole life history and your yeah. medical history. It's great. And uh, like every smartwatch, except done to like a million percent. And that was your look at the future sponsored by Visible. I love that tech, Lorraine. I, got, I want more tech.